Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. We are in Bangsare, which is just south of Pattaya in Thailand, about an hour and a half drive south of Bangkok. And we're just sitting down along the coast, the fishing coast, the fishing boats at a restaurant for a quick seafood lunch. And then we're gonna go to uh, check into a hotel, which is just down the road. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour of the hotel. It looks really nice. You booked a really nice place and Ah, feels great to be out here to get some fresh air. It's sort of also that right at the beginning of tourism, domestic tourism reopening in Thailand. So a lot of the hotels have just now started to open. I think the hotel that we're gonna stay in, they said this is actually the first night that they are reopening. <laughs> Yum, hoi, hoi son. It's some type of a. It's a salad mixture. I believe it is dried, some type of dried mussels uh, with mango, with long beans, with shallots, with uh, cashews. Sweet and sour, so many textures, crunchy, juicy, very refreshing. I love the green mango. I think that's all the food we got. And um, to be honest, I've been eating, focusing a lot on eating a lot of vegetables, but we got some fried cabbage with fish sauce. We got some mixed vegetable. We got, this is a jungle curry with salago fish, um, the salad, and then this type of shell. A sea, sea snail. Mm. I love cabbage. The crispness, just sauteed with a bit of fish sauce to give it that bite of umami. This one is a jungle curry with a, I think the fish in English is called salago, in Thai it's called blahet khon. There's basil in here, there's uh, finger root, and a mix of vegetables. If I see jungle curry on the menu, I must always get it. I love the all the herbs in it. I love the mix of ingredients and the finger root. Finger root. That's the main flavor. Hoi wan. Sweet shells. Oh, they're hot. Has this hard foot kind of. Oh, perfect for dipping into the seafood sauce. Oh yeah. They are sweet and a little bit bitter. Love fresh green pepper. To me, few things in the world can compete with the flavor overdose of fresh green pepper. I mean, chilies and pepper, two of the greatest things, foods on earth. Yeah, lunch was good, and we are going to the hotel, which is just down the road. Should be on the same stretch of coast. It's what is it called? It's called. I guess you think we can check Kept in now. Kept. Yeah, I think we, I think one of these is going. Kept bang, Kept Bangsare Hotel Pattaya. It. That was just a five minute drive. Okay, let's go check in. Yeah. This place is called Kept Bangsare Pattaya. Oh, immediately at the front here, you have to be checking in for all of us. They have a, there's an app that you have to 
check in and take your cup of coffee. Okay. 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 Distancing in case things get busy. Ensure spacing. Okay, and we're checked in. Now we're going to the room. Kapun kap. Kapun kap. Hello. 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 This room is amazing, Ying. And they did tell us this is the this is the first day that they're opening, right? First day that they're opening. And they gave us some little mocktails and some little desserts upon check-in. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not that sweet. I thought it was gonna be like a super, super sweet. Here you. Maybe a bit of pineapple juice, pandan, and butterfly pea and soda water. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. By the way, we will come back for the full room tour. We'll do the full room tour later, but Mike is so excited. He wants to take a swim immediately. The outside, the balcony, this patio area is truly the highlight. Table outside, but look at that. Oh, that view and the pool. Oh, the water's perfect. Come on, Micah. Come on. Whoa. Oh, and I didn't know, they, it looks like they have uh, almost Maldives style bungalows over the water on that side. Then you can see the, the mountain in the distance. They have the public swimming pool right there in the center. And then that must be the restaurant. They think they have a famous restaurant on that bungalow out at the, the top of the dock there. And then, what's really amazing is that you can see the whole view of the bay uh, with Pattaya, the city Pattaya, in the background, in the distance across the bay, and then fishing boats. And actually, just right down there is where we had lunch, uh, right by those fishing boats. This location is beautiful, though. And this room with this pool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Well, yesterday afternoon, Mike and I took a swim, and then we ended up just swimming the entire rest of the afternoon and taking an easy evening. I uh, had a good night's sleep, so wake up this morning bright and early. It's a beautiful day. I'm uh, gonna have breakfast first, and then after that, we'll walk around. We'll walk around the property, and then I'll give you a full tour of our room. Full breakfast buffet option is out the salads, the cereals, the ham and bacon, and sausages and beans, a variety of different juices orange juice, um, like the uh, pandan juice. Um, and then there's fruits, great selection of fruits, a little bread station. And then always one of the great things about breakfast in Thailand is your selection of hot foods, fried rice, shrimp. Oh, nice shrimp and broccoli. Oh, that looks amazing. That is a really good selection for breakfast. And originally I had thought that they were gonna have a buffet, but they were gonna have people serving you so you couldn't serve yourself, but they allowed us to serve ourselves. Roasted eggplant, cucumber salad, garlic. Mm. Mm. I love roasted eggplant. And that cucumber had some kind of a, an Italian dressing with a lot of oregano. Oh, yeah. mm. The broccoli and shrimp is really good. 
a nice sesame oil taste to it. Miso soup. I decided to add a few extra ingredients. Uh, some tofu, some ginger, and some chili. And cilantro. Ew, man. Mm. With the chili. I love miso soup. Breakfast was delicious, big selection of food. From here we're gonna just take a quick walk around the property. I'm gonna give you a tour. This is most of it right here. And then the hotel, they have a variety of different rooms, many different rooms, styles. Our room is the one right over there, but then they have different, a variety of different rooms. Uh, this is a, a big sandbox. This is the main swimming pool. Really nice, overlooking the bay, overlooking the water, that edge. Uh, but right now, yeah, they said it's not open. And it's called the Pier Cafe. And a lot of people come to this hotel just to go to the cafe, to take photos, to have a coffee. But one thing to note, it's not a beach hotel. It's more like a coastline hotel. So you don't really come here to swim in the ocean. There's no beach, uh, but it is over the water. It's more of a fishing port area. Uh, but that being said, I think there are a couple beaches nearby. I think even if you go down the, the coast just a little ways, walk a little ways, there is a, a swimming beach, at least a beach with sand. But yeah, the only sand here is that kind of sandbox. But I think they did a very good job to build a hotel. The entire thing is kind of, I mean, it's on land, but then it's built into the, into the dock and built onto the pier. So it's actually still closed right now. They haven't opened up. It's still too early this morning, but I just want to come out here just to mainly show you the view. The main highlight, why so many people love this cafe, why it's so popular, is the, they're kind of like floating sofas and floating hammocks over the water. Uh, which is pretty spectacular, pretty beautiful, overlooking the bay, overlooking the fishing boats, overlooking the city of Pattaya. And from here, we'll go up and I'll give you a tour of our room. I already gave you, there's a bar down here too. Uh, I already gave you a half tour of the room yesterday when we took a swim, but now the, the actual room. And this is our room right here, 202. Let's start with the bathroom, which is right here on the right-hand side. Sink on the table is here. The mirror. There's a bunch of storage, and over and over on this side is kind of the the beach pool uh, towels and umbrella and beach sandals or pool sandals. And then over on this side, the shower. It's shower on one side, toilet on the other side with a, a sharing glass door. So you can close the toilet or close the shower and toilet is in its own separate compartment. Welcome out into the main bedroom. Something I like is the, the bright, happy feel the, that goes along with the tile, the blues, the browns, the wood, the, yeah, even the color of the wood, it just, I guess it's a very welcoming, very happy, very bright color. Over on this side is the, the fridge situation that looks like a, a crate or that looks like a suitcase. Uh, fridge is in here. And then there is a desk over on this side. And there's the main bed and also the, what would you call this? Kind of like the lounge foot bed, kind of for lounging on for watching TV. And now time for the bed test. Oh yeah, it's a pass. Yeah, it's one of those beds where you just kind of submerge and sink into the, both the pillow and the mattress all in one. Yeah, I slept very well. Oh, oh, yes. I think that completes the room tour.
These things are pretty cool. I've just noticed some places have started using them. These filter, oh, I'm not even totally sure how you do it. Open. Yeah, I guess you open it like this. But it's Doichang is from a good cocky growing region in Northern Thailand. Mountain, uh, but it's a, a filter, portable filter of coffee. I think you, how exactly do I do this? Pull this out. Did I do that right? Yeah, these things are pretty cool. Drip coffee on the go. And fresh coffee as well. So that brings us to the end of this mini tour of Bangsare, but especially the tour of this hotel kept, it's called Kept Bangsare. Uh, we paid, Ying booked this hotel just for one night. We're staying here for just one night. It costs 7,300 baht, which is a little over $200 per night. Highlight for sure is the outside balcony and the swimming pool just overlooking Pattaya, overlooking the bay. So that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and to click thumbs up. I'm gonna be publishing more travel tips, more uh, hotel reviews, and lots more travel on this channel. But right now, it's time for a swim.